it's really stuck on there and uh, heating it made it worse so I just I'm giving up today As you saw, I got that stubborn bushing off the crank and I disassembled the rest of the engine and I know without even putting it up on this stand that the crank is truly bent. Now I don't think I'm going to bother with getting another SPX crank. What I think I'll do is get the crankcase machined out to fit a larger, more beefy crank, maybe from a scooter, probably from a scooter because they're made for variators. So a larger, beefier crank for a scooter that's meant for high horsepower, much higher than what this crank is. I'll try to get a hold of uh, Hollandaren and see if he can help me out. It shouldn't be much of a job for someone with a lathe. It's uh, basically just turning, or, or a mill, it's basically just turning the diameter for the crank webs larger and maybe making it a little bit wider. And probably replacing this small bearing with a larger one. Same as this one. This is a 6204 and this is a 6203 bearing. Yeah. Kind of a bummer, but really not. Been there before. <laughs> On a different note, Dirk Nobit or Derek Bobit has yet again sent me some parts. If you remember, he's the one who sponsored the motorized bicycle engine. And this time he's sent me what basically is a reed conversion kit. 
So what I'm going to do is uh, replace the carb and the intake and the piston. It comes with a piston that already has a hole in it. So I'm going to replace the piston, the intake and the carb. It comes with a bigger carb too. And compare the results with what I've gotten so far with the stock carb and intake. Interesting stuff. But I can't do that tonight. Because it will make too much noise. As it's kind of boring for you to watch me doing one dyno pull and then aborting the whole thing. I'm going to take a day off work or something, maybe next week. That will be the read kit versus stock carb and intake video. Sorry for this short video. The next video in the SPX series, I, I've decided I'm going for the aluminium plate frame because that's most exciting, I think. I'm getting some plywood and we'll start mapping out or mocking up a frame in wood and then cut it in aluminium when time comes. Okay, thanks for watching. Hopefully next video will be in just a few days and it will probably be about the motorized bike. I've also thought about making a video about uh, DIY Octane boosters. If that's interesting for you, leave a comment and I'll do that. Cause I've done a lot of homebrew fuel Octane boosting stuff earlier. Thanks for watching. And a huge thanks to Derek Bobbitt. Thanks man.